Hello. Look at my first YouTube video. It's just a quick video to introduce myself to the tobacco pipe smoking community of YouTube. Today I'll be going over a couple of pipes that I have in my collection. The reason for this being is because I only have two pipes in my collection, but you gotta start somewhere. Today I'll be coming to you live from my toilet. I wanted to do a video outside, but it's freezing outside, it's cold as shit. And uh, I'd much rather do a video outside, I just, I love smoking outside, it's much more relaxing than inside. At least on a nice day. But, uh. This is my first. <clears throat> this is my first pipe. It is a Dr. Boston. Would you buy them? I don't know if you've heard of that company or not. It's, uh. If you've heard of Boots Shokwin, they're a French pipe maker. This is made in their factory. It's kind of like a sister company, sub company, I don't know. I don't know how many videos I intend to make, but I'll try to switch up my tobaccos. However, I'll do my best not to smoke this one all the time. This is my favorite. This is a cherry mousse I got from my local tobacco shop, Briar and Bean, Clarksville, Tennessee. Great shop. One thing I really like about it, it's great taste, it's very fragrant, and uh, no matter how hot you get the tobacco, you never get tongue bite. I've never had tongue bite with this cherry mousse, which I thought might have been a common thing amongst sweet flavored tobaccos, but I got a French vanilla, which also is very good. but. If you get it too hot, you'll get some tongue bite. My second pipe. I guess you can't, you probably can't guess what it is. It's because I don't know what it is. I believe it's an off brand. I got it from the in-laws, Christmas present. One reason I think it might be an off-brand is because of, you know, it has no markings. And another reason is, you probably won't be able to see in there, it's pretty dirty. There's a screw in the bottom of the bowl. Now, this is I've never seen that in any other pipes. However, it smokes like a dream. Sometimes that's all that matters. I don't have a nice traditional tool, so I found steel in your wife's nail polish. Top makes for good tamper. Don't tell her. She'll probably get pissed. I had a bunch of shit I was gonna say. And that's how it goes, you can't think what you're going to say. <laughs> so I guess I'll just enjoy my pipe and you can watch. Hopefully you're at home smoking a pipe yourself. Or else you might get a little bit jealous. I 
I guess this will conclude my video. I just want to give a shout out to uh, basically the pipe tobacco community on YouTube. It's a very supportive community. I uh, I originally got into pipe smoking because I originally started. I really like cigars, and uh, I used to buy them from little discount stores where you get discount beer, discount tobacco, and. Uh, I finally went to Briar and Bean, which is a local cigar shop, tobacco shop, and uh, when I went in, the guy there, he smokes all day inside with his pipe tobacco, and uh, the smell is just amazing, and uh, I have to say that's probably what got me started on smoking pipe tobacco. What happened? I'm back. Hello. Sorry, I'm doing this on my telephone. I got a phone call. Of course, everybody wants to mess up my first video. So I figured I should do this again, put it back together. You know, I got iMovie on my phone. Just put the two clips together and I'll be good to go. Feeling pretty lazy. I don't feel like making another video. My first little video there. It's quite a while, so I'll just put them together. Also, I was just about out of tobacco. So I switched up my pipes. This is my little off-brand generic pipe. I told you I was going to switch up my tobaccos. I'm doing my French vanilla now. What I like about this pipe is that it has the round stem. If, say, you put it over here and your bowl's like crooked, you can just turn it up, fix it. And if your tobacco goes out, maybe use a sheet of pipe. Well, I guess I'm going to conclude, blah, conclude my video. Since somebody had to call me on the phone, I didn't want to just leave you hanging. But, uh, keep up the videos, everybody. I encourage you to make a video if you've never made a video. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll see you guys later.